Dolls. This is Kitty the Messy Sofa over at Royal Appleberry. And today, um, I'm going to be using Alex. And for those of you who are new to my channel and don't know who Alex is, Alex is my fan fantastic acrylic clear mold from uh, Custom Craft Tools. I love that mold. And that uh, mold is reserved for soaps that I think that are going to be stellar. Which, I hope all my soaps are going to be stellar. But, you know, I put a lot of thought into these just because I just do. But, anywho, so... Um, today I'm going to be using um, a blend. So um, I got this from Rustic Essential, which is their champagne fragrance, and they did do a giveaway. This video is uh, weeks in advance. Yeah, so by the time you guys see this, it's probably going to be like four or five weeks out. But, however, Rustic Essential was giving away three uh, one-pound bottles of this fragrance oil, just like I have right here in my hands. So, congratulations to any of you who won those. Um, I did announce it, so you should have gone over there to get some. Next time I announce it, go over there and enter so you can get some. <laughs> but, um, I didn't want to just do a champagne soap just because I like like champagne with other fragrances so I had this little sample of passion melon from rustic essentials so I mix this with this and let me tell you it's a winner it is a winner I love it love it love it it smells fan food fantastic so you already know what champagne smells like for those of you who know what champagne smells like <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you um, the notes on this passion melon the notes on this is um, melon of course uh, la, 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 la. let me see. It's in the passion uh, fruit family. Yeah, it's in a passion fruit family. And it's notes of ripe figs, exotic aromas of blackberries from Myrtle Shrub. Clean, luscious, and sweet. So, yeah, it's a whole lot more going on here in the description. But those are the base notes of this and top notes of this uh, fragrance oil. Let me tell you, it's a beautiful blend. I'm very happy that I decided to put those two together. Because I had some raspberry and I just might be doing that still. But I decided, you know what? We're going to do this passion melon because I told you I'm trying to use up all these little bitties that I have. Because I don't make one ounce or one pound. You know. You know what I mean? So, got that. And um, I'm going to be using these two colors which are Fiery Fusion Mica from Rustic Essential and Bejeweled Mica from Rustic Essential. Bejeweled is going to be a mica drizzle. And then the color is going to be Fiery Fusion and white, which will be colored with some good old titanium dioxide, um, which I have mixed in water in here. Actually, no, I put it in here, which is, I'm going to be using buttermilk today instead of goat's milk. And I'm not going to be, am I? Yes, yes, I am. Never mind. Um, I'm not going to be using goat's milk. I replaced it with buttermilk instead. And then on top of that, we're going to use some poppy seeds. So I think I ran out everything I'm going to do. Um, hold tight. I will be back in a second when I have everything blended and mixed in, guys. Okay, doke. So I got uh, my fragrance and lying everything mixed in. If this looks a little ricey, it has nothing to do with the fragrance. This is actually from my buttermilk. Um, this is my second time doing a soap of buttermilk, and I always seem to get this ricey texture to it, but it smooths itself out, so I'm not too concerned about it. Um, so. This is going to make no sense what I'm about to do uh, as far as the containers because I'm using four containers although I'm using two colors and I'll explain to you in a second. I'm just eyeballing making sure I got the same amounts so and I'm going to have to brighten this a little bit although I did have TD in my buttermilk and um, aloe vera mixture is still quite yellow. So I'm just kind of eyeballing. I think that's about right. Just a little bit more because I know once I scrape down the sides, then um, there's going to be more in this bowl than the other. So, um, the fragrance, I already know the fragrance behaves very well just because um, they sent me a sample bar that was already pre-made. And um, I, I've gotten it. I got it while it was going through the curing stage, so it's still very, very nice. Um, I'll grab it in a second and show you guys. So, looks like I'm going to have to darken this some more because that's really not the color I was going for. Yeah. So, I'm going to work on that color to darken that with a little bit and I'm going to lighten this and then I'll grab the bar of soap and uh, show you. 
Okay, doke. So now I have my colors um, mixed in and blended well the way I want them to be. And I'm using these smaller cups just because I, um, I'm going to do a double pour. And if you do, if you don't know what that is, you'll see in a second. But um, I'm not going to be able to do it with these two big buckets, especially because um, one, I'm not good at it, and two, um, my arm is still, my wrist is still a little bit tender from my carpal tunnel. We're getting, we're on the mend. So, but here's the soap that was made with um, with the champagne fragrance. So, um, what you see, because there is a partial gel ring in the center, that's what the discoloration is. And you can see the sides are a nice creamy color. So, it um, plays very, very well. And so far, it's playing very well, as you can see. So, let me grab Alex, and then we'll get this show on the road. Okay, so here's Alex. <laughs> For, like I said, those of you who don't know, I love this mold. I really love, like seriously love this mold. <laughs> um, I've expressed that many, many times. And um, the link to where to get this mold is, oh my gosh, somebody's at my door, be back. All right, sorry about that. That was my postal person. Um, dropped a package off. And I'm like screaming at the door, oh, what is that? Like a crazy person, they're not saying anything. And then I get paranoid. <laughs> and then I kind of creep and look out the window and I see the mail truck, oh, okay, never mind. Okay, so this has thickened up just because I was upstairs mucking around. I should have been. I kind of for a second forgot I was making soap. Duh. But can I get sappy for a second? <laughs> um, I don't even think this is going to pour. But, yeah. Okay, so for those of you who watch my channel on a regular, you guys know who Gabe is. Gabe is my... Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Ah! That's not working out well. Well, that's okay. It, I guess it'll just add more interest to it. So what am I doing? <laughs> I wanted this to be like kind of, you know, two-sided. So, um, it doesn't matter anyway. But yeah, Gabe is my fiance. Um, we live together, but I miss him. <laughs> he's not even anywhere. He's just like, I mean, yeah, of course he's somewhere. But he just went um, to the city to visit his brother. And like, I'm like been all sappy. I don't know why I miss him so much. He just like, he's not even been gone that long. And I'm just like, oh. He's so cuddly. <laughs> I miss him. I can't wait till he come home. I just had to say that because I'm all in my feelings right now. But yeah, um, you, I'm sure you ladies know what I mean. And you mean too. You know, sometimes you just miss your mate. They die. It's not like he's out of town. I just miss him. But anywho, so now that I've uh, gotten all mushy on you guys, we need to figure out. <laughs> I guess after all, I didn't need these cups with the spouts because it's not going the way I had planned anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Now, I'm going to switch sides, and this could have, like, seriously, okay, that's actually working. Woo, yeah, it's nice. Um, it could have been a little bit more fluid, but, oh, well, whatever. You work with what you got. I am the queen of making what looks like a disaster works. <laughs> yeah, self proclaim but I seem to always make it work, so. I know, oops, what am I, where did I throw that? Okay. I can always seem to, if I can't make it do what I want it to do, then I can make it, you know, do. So, oh yeah, also, Rustic Essential, if you're watching, <laughs> um, that's my scent blend, because they do have scent blend suggestions, like what would you suggest that you put together? So I would say your passion melon and your champagne together. You should do it. It smells good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try something. And hopefully this works. Hopefully it'll stay on its side. Um, kind of. Yeah, okay, I guess. It's no better or no worse than what was going on before. Ah! I did that on the wrong side. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter, but whatever. Because it's not going to run through. This is supposed to be on that side. Um, but yeah, it's not moving, so it's not like it's seeping through the cracks, so it doesn't matter. So, ooh, okay, just stop going so fast, Kenny, like, slow down, girl. Okay. Now, since I've already switched sides, that is so weird. Uh, no, I'm just gonna go back to where I was supposed to be. Okay, hopefully I'm not doing too much, because I do need to fill up these other cavities. To make sure I have even amounts and my bars will be the same height. Mm -hmm. 
the crap out of this and as you can see it has thickened up quite a lot but that's okay I'm not too concerned about that so what I need to do now is get my mica drizzle just to add some interest to this it's kind of cooling cooling down in my basement so my mica has kind of gotten hard okay so let me get a skewer a skewer i got a skewer let me get my uh oh i forget what this thing's called <laughs> okay so we're gonna fill that all the way up pipette that's what this thing is called i'm being pretty gener generous on this as well That is good so um, I've decided I don't like buttermilk <laughs> in my soaps it thickens them up way faster than I would like and if I do it again it will be frozen buttermilk with the whole lie transfer method blah 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 but um yeah it's just not what I was wanting and I hope this doesn't end up looking too Christmassy No, I don't think so. Because uh, we're trying to get Christmas and winter the hell out of here. We really are. <laughs> okay, and as you can see, this is quite thick, but that's okay. It's going to work out. It's going to do what I want it to do. I'm just kind of no real form in this. I'm just kind of going around and doing it the way I want. Just to add a little bit of difference between each bar. Um... I will be smacking this down again because that would look terrible if I didn't. <laughs> okay. Well, that is quite thick. Alright. It does smell amazing. It really does. Alright. Okay. So let me smack this down. Bring you guys back. Okay. So now. I will remove these gloves. Oh, this smells so good. I just can't even know how good this smells. And watch, watch. These poppy seeds are going to tie this together. Which I like the way it looks already. I really do. <sighs> so I can, I'm out of the danger zone. I'm going to take these glasses and gloves off. Oh, and for those of you who are going to ask, my Long Spout color cups, those came from a dollar store a couple of years ago you're not gonna find them I tried to find them online they're very hard to find um and what else did I use that you guys might ask about oh my mixing bowls they're just your regular run-of-the-mill Dollar Tree mixing bowls this looks like watermelon and you know what it kind of has a watermelon note to it and I think let me look at this again because I do believe it says something about watermelon hold on Okay, I knew it. It says it's a combination of black currant and watermelon. I knew it had like a watermelon note to it. So I guess this color scheme just works out, didn't it? <laughs> Who would have ever thought? So, but it is not watermelon. It is a melon, but not watermelon. And it smells fantastic. I like it. And I don't think I'm going to put any glitter on this. It's going to look grand once I put the dividers in. I like this. I do, I do. 
so I, I knew I had the idea in my head. I didn't know how I was going to execute it. I didn't know exactly what the color was going to look like. I just kind of winged it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, like it. Lots. Hope you guys like it, too. Um, now, let me get my dividers. I think I lost one. Did I? Did I? Did I? No, I didn't. Okay. So, let me wipe those off. And then put those in. Oh, I love this mold. I really do. Okay. Let's get it lined up. Come on. Come on, kids. Come on. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. How cute. Um, I'm a fan. I am a fan. As you guys can tell, I'm a fan. Hope you are a fan of this, too, because um, I think it's just gorgeous. I really do. How very cute. Um, and then the great thing about this mold, it did come with a lid, so I'm going to pop the lid on it. Um, that one's just a wee bit lower, but that's okay. It does not matter. Uh, yeah, so stick around because there will be an unmolding coming up right now. Okay, doke, so we are going to unmold this soap. And this soap has been sitting in the mold for about a week. So, as you can see. You just come right out and um, I've actually had two people ask me about how to unmold this uh, without it giving you any issues your best bet is to use salt in your recipe um, for quicker unmolding it's not just this mold it's like any uh, slap mold sometimes they do stick but yeah, use salt or sodium lactate in your recipe and then give it a couple of days. I know because I am the worst with being patient, um, waiting on soaps to come out the bowl. But if you just give it a couple of days um, or a week, <laughs> then um, they actually just fall right out the mold. You shouldn't have to put in any effort to get them out, you know, at all. Or if you just can't wait, then you can just pop it in the freezer and then take it out. Okay, I'm just going to grab this up yeah like I said, they're, they're just falling out but yeah these molds are very very easy to use I absolutely love them and that's just my piece of advice to help you along with using a slap mold whether it be with a liner or with um, a liner or with um, um, silicone I'm just gonna pop this one off there we go. And then I'll give these a little cleanup so they'll look a little bit better. I mean, basically, what you're saying is <laughs> they all gotta look the same. So just turn that off just like that. These smell fantastic. They really, really do. I love the way they smell. And I was afraid that they were gonna be kind of Christmassy, but like my mom fell in love with them. Um they are fun. They are very, very fun. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, actually just do that. Because they pretty much all look the same. So, I'll bring you guys back once I clean all this up. So I have them all cleaned up and that big bucket you saw is what I keep my scraps in um, and then I just rebatch them and then set them off to uh, a homeless shelter and um, I do have a planer and beveler but I don't like it I like potato pillar better so, <laughs> so this is what they look like all cleaned up and pretty this is I think my favorite one right here so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do please be sure to give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as part of my stinking awesome crew. That's what my subscribers are because you guys are just that. Thank you for always tuning in. For you who are always here. Love, love, love you. You know that. And um, hit that notification bell if you want to get notified whenever I post a new video. Which is normally on Sundays. So on that note, love, hugs, and kisses. Be awesome and amazing at everything you do. And I'll see you in the next soap making video. Bye.